everyone, I'm Ankita Vasudev, Career and Transition Coach from Chambadi. Welcome you to the third episode of Expert Interview with the leaders from different industries. Today we have with us Apurva Sarwal, a passionate nutritionist and a dietitian, worked with Medanta the Medicity, also associated with Amity University Haryana as an assistant professor. Apart from it, she has her own counseling and guidance setup, helping patients and clients with diet and nutrition. Brown and brought up in Lucknow, supported by a very handsome husband and a two-year-old lovely son. Welcome, Apurva. Hello, Ankita. Thank you so much for the lovely interview. Thanks. So Thank much. you so much. Thank you so much. Pleasure to have you. So, uh, you know, tell us about uh, yourself. Where did you, you know, grown up and how did that affect you, who you become today? Who you are today? Yeah, okay. So, um, as we have mentioned, I am from Lucknow and uh, I completed my uh, school studies in Lucknow only. And after that, I went to Chandigarh for my graduation and post-graduation. So, okay. I have done my bachelor's and master's in foods and nutrition. So bachelor's was home science and then uh, master's it is specialization in foods and nutrition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, along with my MSc, I cleared my UGC net examination and that made me eligible for my uh, lecturership in universities and colleges. I had this passion of teaching. So I'm very much eager and towards, you know, the teaching uh, thing. So I completed my BA degree as well. Oh, so okay. I had my, uh, you know, uh, if I get opportunity to teach in schools, I, I can, uh, you know, easily do that. So I completed my master's, I completed my BA from Chandigarh. Then obviously, yes, everybody wants to, you know, start working in the field, you know, after gaining, gaining so much of knowledge. I started my career as um, a lecturer. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was in Lucknow only. I started there in a, in a girls degree college. So I was teaching there. And then, yes, uh, things continued. So here I am today. So you have a lot of feathers added to your hat, right? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to add uh, many more. <laughs> amazing, amazing. All the very best. So how did you choose like nutrition as a subject? Because uh, I think majorly, you know, earlier were those days. In fact, now the things have, you know, the scenario has changed that people are opting for like various different, uh, you know, um, opportunities. But then right. how nutrition came into place and was that something, uh, you know, health or was that something which was your um, passion, your hobby and how did it get? So, yeah, it all started in school. So, okay. you know, that 11th and 12th is that time when, you know, um, you have a lot of pressure. Uh, what what next is yeah. the question that comes to our mind, right? I um, never wanted to be in that IT industry. Um, I couldn't be in that doctorate field because I have that fear of blood. So, okay. although I was very much interested. So, uh, I was very clear. No, no, no doing BA and uh, cannot do the medical part. But yes, I was always inclined towards, you know, being a part of someone who can help the society, help the people in any way I want to. I got to know about uh, this nutrition uh, field from one of my relatives. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I thought that uh, I searched about it and uh, Although all, the, you know, all the fields, I, I completely respect all the other fields, but, you know, it is one's personal choice, what yes. actually yes. I can be most comfortable in and wherein I can put the maximum of my efforts. Yes. So I searched a lot about it, thanks to Google, you know, thanks to people from whom you can get many ideas. And uh, yes, then I got to know about this. And luckily, I got admission in one of the good colleges as well. So, yeah, that is how I got into this. Amazing. You know, if, if you have passion for something and that is uh, that you right. pursue as uh, your career, then I think nothing can right. take you to be the best. I had this inclination towards, you know, that medical line, but uh, uh, being a doctor was, I, I knew that I couldn't do that. But yes, being in this field of nutrition, I can, uh, you know, be a part of uh, the team, the doctor's team and help the patients to recover. So that is equally important. Amazing. Amazing. So what makes you passionate and, you know, you know, and gets you motivated? What keeps you, you know, driving? 
I get motivation from my clients, from my from my students, uh, from my patients in whatever field I am. So as you mentioned in the beginning, only I have work, worked in education industry. I work with Madanta and I have my own counseling. Group. So I get motivation from the feedback that I get from my students, from my patients, my clients. And, you know, when they come up with the results, be it in form of marks, be it in form of the kilograms that they have reduced in the past three weeks. Yes. So yes. That, that that gives me that motivation that, yes, I, I think I'm doing my job um, great okay <laughs> amazing so like when when you see results happening in terms right. of anything you know, and of right. course that that puts a smile in your clients the students face and i think that right. makes that difference right. 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 amazing amazing so what basically in terms of qualification and experience is required you know if somebody wants to get into this field this is basically for students or that young professionals right so I'll start with the education field. If somebody is wanting to go in the education field, yeah. so you have to be a postgraduate, mm -hmm. right? So that uh, is adding to your master's degree. Uh, along with that, you will have to qualify the net examination. Mm -hmm. uh, that is national eligibility test. So that is, uh, you know, UGC is conducting it. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as you are clearing it, yes, you are eligible. But now most of the universities and colleges, what they are desiring as well is a PhD degree. Okay, okay. Right, right. Yeah. So um, it, it is, uh, you know, it is not mandatory right now. But yes, if somebody has that PhD degree or maybe if they are, uh, you know, uh, into that PhD uh, mm -hmm. course, if, even if they are enrolled, that adds on to the plus mark but yes if you are a postgraduate with foods and nutrition um, degree right that can be msc food science nowadays we have dietetics and applied nutrition we have terminology as foods and nutrition so different terminologies are being used mm -hmm. but that accounts to the same part that we are talking about the same field so post-graduation uh, you are qualifying that uh, ugc net examination and you are enrolled into phd so that is you know uh, if I talk about the education field, right. talking about working in the hospital or the medical field, post graduation is one. Okay, some hospitals and institutions also take diplomas. Okay, so we have post graduate diplomas in nutrition okay. or in food science or in dietetics, and you will also have to do a six months that is minimum six months internship in a reputed hospital which is at least 100 bedded or 200 bedded, depending on the university or colleges that you are going to, uh, you, you are working with. So um, some hospitals say that uh, you should you should be having a three-month internship. Some others say uh, oh, uh, you should be having six months of uh, working uh, experience. So uh, some hospitals offer, you know, you can work here as an intern and then you can get the job here as well. Right. So right. that working, you know, because that makes us, uh, you know, relate ourselves to the patient. That is completely a new environment, working uh, with the uh, general ward patients, working with the ICU patients, right? Working with pediatrics, the child right. care patients. So right. that, that makes it there. Talking about if we are wanting to be an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. working or starting our own setup. So, you know, that means I see around nowadays many graduates, even if they are not from this nutrition background, they are starting their own, exactly. uh, you know, startups and all, yeah. which actually is not at all right. Mm -hmm. I think somebody who is not an MBBS and then he's working, uh, you know, and he's trying to uh, recover a patient. Can we ever think of it? No. Right. Similarly, if somebody is not a master of nutrition, he has not studied about the basics and the experts of food, diet, you know, all those things. So how can you uh, yourself, you know, start your own startup and uh, start dealing with the clients, those who are diabetic, maybe those who are wanting to lose weight or those who have any other uh, health issues and all. Right. So uh, that is also at least a post-graduation degree in nutrition. You mm -hmm. should be a diploma. Okay, anything of, you know, that makes you stable and get into the uh, basics and the expert points, in-depth points, yeah. I think. Yeah, so this is what is covering the three fields. Thank you so much. So my next question is, you know, nowadays we see in YouTube, uh, like a lot of 
people you know creating content around uh, you know nutrition or you know healthy diet like keto or like intermittent fasting and all those things even if you know some sort of somebody just tried on uh, herself or himself it that that worked and then they just start posting and creating content and you know attracting you know right. uh, their uh, base of you know uh, the their visibility so what is your say in that um yeah it actually is a matter of concern what is happening around right, right? we see kids doing so many types of diet we 11th class mein hai. okay i'm i'm taking this diet mm, mm. not only kids it is affecting the elderly it is affecting the old age people as well although old age mein it is not affecting much because they are already you know uh, knowing this that this is not right Yeah. but if you talk about the younger generation or maybe someone who is eager to learn from you know the social media mm-hmm. it is very obvious the way they are portraying things anybody you know can be misled so okay this is happening this way why not let me try this right right if it is happening once to our body you are you know completely making your body hollow from inside we i talk about bones if i talk about muscles they are saying okay discard completely discard carbohydrates why right why to completely discard carbohydrate it is one of the major nutrient that is required for your uh, required by your body for the energy so you know a moderate thing a balanced thing is you know what each and every individual who is mm-hmm. uh, well qualified is going right. to tell you about this and you know these things also even if i'm not saying all these things are wrong these things are required uh, therapeutically you know uh, if i have to treat someone if somebody is going uh, through some disorder then yes obviously these things are very helpful certain diet certain restriction certain add ons are required mm-hmm. but then you will have to be guided from a well known person right so basically you know one should consider an expert before you know uh, taking these kind of uh, you know help or uh, you know assistance right, right. twill or youtube and you know all those uh, sort of things yeah, you know yeah. how, like you know people just going for okay just stop eating you know rice and chapati and just just go like no carbohydrate and nothing like that right but eventually it might help you in reducing weight but i think in the long run uh, it will affect uh, some or the other way right certainly 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 it is going to be. right so what aspects of nutrition do you feel are most important to address when consulting the clients see it is if i if i say one or two words it is going to be absolutely uh, incorrect so it is an overall thing mm-hmm. i uh, you know when i am starting with the conversation yes i obviously start with what is your age your height okay your weight what is your basic diet intake and all this is what i initially ask okay whenever a patient visits to uh, you know the hospital or the doctor this is what we usually ask uh, we tend to ask but um, uh, you know uh, we usually should be knowing what we are actually going to work upon what problem the patient has and accordingly only we try to focus and choose the point that we have to uh, eventually work on so uh, not i i cannot pinpoint one but that is a generalized over overall thing if even if i am working on one particular aspect i need to balance the other aspects as well of nutrition right once 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 we get into the field we get to know certain terminologies and then you know we can work upon that easily right so it's important like so why you're you know, uh, evaluating the nutritional content or the needs of the uh, client right right so it is it is yeah we we need a calculator it is you know somebody must be thinking acha okay fat ke bare mein padh liya we are talking about nutrition we are probably protein ke bare mein padh liya and that's it no we are doing so many calculations right you know we have certain examinations wherein the students are you know making a chart making a table they have calculator in their hands and then they are calculating the amount of fat kitna gram okay how many milligrams of sodium okay okay this is what we are calculating it is it is not just okay thoda sa chutki bhar namak kha liya okay aaj namak nahi khana this is what is this is not done we are talking about grams we are talking about calories uh, yes we are talking about the quantity maybe in terms of categories or numbers so this is you know what is to be done right right so uh, so you know uh, nowadays you know obesity is i think uh, one of the very 
common uh, you know asked questions and people are suffering with it so how do you help a standard you know uh, a standard or a general client uh, start to lose weight through a proper dieting so are there some common advice which you give or anything which you can just speak about um very basic we all have heard balanced diet mm-hmm. right so uh, and balancing not only the diet intake balancing the time intake as well right right, right. so uh, we are balancing time we are mm-hmm. balancing the quantity we are balancing the quality mm-hmm. and this is how we can get the person to reduce the weight so you know uh, uh, i can say eat eat dals okay mm-hmm. or i can say eat chilke wali dal right okay. there is a difference okay right. uh, i can say eat roti Mm-hmm. I can also say eat missi ki roti. Right. right. Missi roti, chilke wali dal. Mm-hmm. Uh, adding uh, more of chilkas in your diet, maybe in terms of fruits or certain vegetables. I am asking you that if you can make chilka with it, you can make it with a tori, you can make it with a Why not make it? You are adding to the fiber part. Wash it properly. Obviously, we have to wash it. Mm-hmm. Why not make it? Add flavors, add spices, mm-hmm. and along with that you have to balance your physical workout right right so diet does not goes uh, you know without physical activity if you are eating very properly but you are sitting the whole day it is right. not going to make a difference right. thoda exactly. hoga because diet is going to show its work but mm-hmm. jitna ho sakta hai that is uh, going to be visible only if you are working out the amount of the person that is required to balance mm-hmm. so it's important to basically you know burn out your uh, you know calories which you say like yes. asking yes. for yes. sara and how much you burnt and this is how yeah. it's on intake and then we are right please 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 go ahead we are burning uh, the calories as well mm-hmm. and we are asking our body to ask for more yes you know if we are going to work out our body is going to ask for water Right. very important thing right jab tak hum pani nahi peenge until unless we are having uh, 2 liters of water 2.5 according to whatever our body requires mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. you know that our body is going to ask only if we work out if you are sitting we will not feel thirsty and we are not going to have enough water right so, yeah right that is it's, it's really important what i understand is to have a uh, you know strict routine which needs to be followed right. in terms of right. timing right. right i think right. unless until you have that routine and of course that that controlling because if there's somebody who is a who is a foodie so you know mm-hmm. having that you know controlling the temptation i very think, good yeah 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 i think first it, and the foremost thing which is like really important at the same time but then is it correct when we say like uh, like 80% is your diet and 20% is your exercise is this correct to you know say like it's more of a diet which which adds on to losing your weight um what i feel yeah you i take it 70 30 mm mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so, yeah 80 20 see everybody's body is different uh-huh. uh huh for me i am lucky if if i do only 10% of exercise i can easily lose weight somebody else's body might require some more physical workout right. so right. that either the person knows or the person or if you know any expert who is working on the person he or she knows right right uh, acha okay you have to work out for this much amount of time and this is the diet so you know after keeping a check of over maybe one or two months then they get to know acha this this um, uh, amount of time is you know a little less you need to increase the time or that we are increasing the percentage of workout so this is uh, going to be different for each and every individual how you know the bmr works right. it's basically the how you know everybody's body is unique so how it it differs yeah. from like body right. to body right. and right. cause your right. past history and everything yeah. so what are some of those you know common methods uh, you know effective methods that you have encountered when it comes to helping clients or groups with taking necessary lifestyle changes because nowadays like most of the disorders are happening due to lifestyle right correct, correct. see now like pcod or ips or any such kind of things it's it's all because of right. a lifestyle change right so hmm. what are those you know methods wherein you know you know a people can help not getting into those uh, lines right so um, you know the very um, basic thing or uh, you know very common thing that we get to know advised by our parents by our, uh, you know elders even i was on my phone before this interview right mm-hmm. first and of all we need to get rid of our uh, the mobile phones or our screens 
you know, for certain period of time. So wake up, sleep time, mm -hmm. evening time, you know, there has to be certain time periods where we are away from our uh, electronic devices. Mm -hmm. You should be uh, using them for positive things is what I ask my clients to do. So why not use a mobile phone and keep it away from your bed in the morning so that, you know, you have a buzzer alarm and, you know, that motivates you to get up and go for a walk. What we are doing is we are just snoozing it and then we are lying in bed. Yeah. No. Right. And uh, why not use your mobile phone's audio system for a soothing meditation? Yeah. Sit down and meditate. Right. We can use it not only for, uh, you know, certain movie clips, videos, we can use it for Zumba classes as well. Right. So, you know, anything, you know, you can relate it positively to your own self. Right. Also, uh, early rising and early going to bed is one of the most effective thing that I have noticed. Mm -hmm. Managing your meal time accordingly, five basic meals. Mm -hmm. Okay eating at regular and certain intervals it is not that you are eating and eating and eating every time quantity and uh, you know certainty and uh, you know uh, what you say uh, a fixed time schedule is you know what is very much required you know why are uh, our children so well managed because they have a fixed time schedule of going to school coming back and then you know sleep time and then tuition time and then play time yeah. all that is fixed why can't we do it on ourselves? Yes, exactly. Right. You know, basically, you know, humans' health is nowadays is becoming something that it's the most least priority, I think, which people are yeah. including nowadays, you know, with the, you know, the hustle of life, the work and everything. Right, you know, it's, right, I right. think it's the most neglected thing. And when it comes to, I think, a working woman, then the scenario is, I think, more difficult in those scenarios. So, you know, what right. advice you will give to a working woman, you know, how, you know, at least some like three tips where she can manage her you know, health in some or the other way. Okay. So um, I've also been working. I still am. Um, try to take it, take care of yourself as if your mother is taking care of you. Okay. So if you think, okay, what if my mother would have been here? She would not let you go without two or three dabbas with some snacks Mm -hmm. with some dry fruits, um, with some healthy options, or maybe something sweet, you know. Also, um, take reminders and notes for yourself as well, not just for your household course or for your kids or for your husband or maybe for any. So Apurva, like what three tips you can give to a working uh, woman who is like just working day in and day out and I think neglecting her health um, at the most? Okay, so um, yeah, you should be, uh, first of all, giving importance, equal importance to you yourself as you are giving it to your uh, uh, kids, your partner, uh, to your friends or maybe anybody else. You know, loving yourself. Your to-do list should be having something or the other that is, you know, related to you. Yeah. Taking care of your health in terms of your diet, in terms of your workout, in terms of your self-care, your hair care. Also, taking care of yourself. Secondly, maybe like, you know, uh, like your mother is taking care of yourself. Okay, sending you to work with uh, small tiffin boxes that has some healthy snack options in them right? Your mother reminds you after uh, every two or three hours giving you a call, Achha, okay, khana khaya, you had water or something. Yeah. So why not do it for yourself? Right. Also, uh, lastly, um, you should be happy about keeping yourself happy. Right. Okay? You are keeping others happy very well. Everybody is happy. Are you happy for, you know, uh, taking care of you? Are you taking you yourself out for maybe a cup of coffee, for an ice cream, for a Zumba class, for a yoga session? So that is equally important. Right. You know, if, if you are happy, I think you can keep the whole family happy. Yeah. And I think right, family right, right. Healthy. I think right. ultimately that, that's really important. Right. Really? You are True. having that routine. And I think just, I just love the fact when you said that, you know, just take care of yourself as if 
your mother will take care of you i literally right. love this fact you know because you know as we are growing up we forget you know we just treat ourselves okay we have a lot of responsibilities we have to fulfill this and that and that right. and ultimately you know we neglect ourselves but i love this fact you know when you said that you know love yourself and you know take care of yourself as if your mother will do it for you so you know i think uh, diet and nutrition is something which is just not you know uh, our nutritionist is just not accountable for that right i think it's it's more of the client you know who has to work on himself or herself so mm. uh, right so i understand that there would be a lot of challenges uh, which you have faced in this field and you know so anything any challenge and how you overcome it so how you make that client accountable right 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 so yes i have faced a lot of challenges so one i remember is um, uh, i was working with medanta and i had this um, uh, old lady and she had to be restricted on fat intake mm -hmm. so uh, once i was uh, you know counseling her she she told me ki beta parathe to maine itne saal se khaye hain abhi kaise band kar yeah okay and you know obviously because uh, इतने सालों से इफ दे आर टेकिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ डाइट एंड सडनली आई आस्क हर कि नहीं नहीं माँ जी आपको नहीं खाना सो आई नो शी इज नॉट गोइंग टू लिसन इवन इफ शी सेज कि हाँ जी नहीं खाऊंगी एट द एंड शी इज गोइंग टू गो होम एंड गोइंग टू ईट दोज पराठाज राइट सो I can maybe counsel her okay how many uh, tablespoons or teaspoons of oil are you adding or ghee you are adding if she says four why not make it one or two mm -hmm. why not eventually reduce the amount of ghee or oil i need to ultimately reduce the amount of fat in it right mm -hmm. so why not say no parathas mm -hmm. i can say less oily parathas yes right also um, you know you will have to uh, find out and work a little psychologically as well supposedly if you are working with a kid mm -hmm. okay or maybe a teenager or something so you will have to uh, work it uh, you know uh, do it in a psychological thing okay ki dekho aap aise karoge so your mama and papa are going to be so happy with you right right, right. relating it to someone uh, this goes with elderly as well ki aapke bacche right so doing it you know and it comes it is not that you know we are playing a trick it comes naturally Right. see the doctors right. work right. we we learn from the people around right uh, at times you have to be strict mm -hmm. when you get stubborn patients or stubborn clients you have to be strict as well ki nahi karna mm -hmm. at times you have to be polite yahan mm -hmm. se nahi pakda ja raha kaam to ghuma ke pakdo wali baat hai <laughs> right 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 because it it is i think it depends upon the consistency if there is right. yeah. not something which will happen in a day or two Right, you right. practice it for a week, and then you stop, and then you start with your binge eating. So, right, I right. somebody who is wanting to lose weight, and then he says, "Ki, I see on social media or on phone, I have a craving." You know, right. so you have to connect with that uh, client on daily basis, mm -hmm. sending some, uh, you know, motivated quotes. Right, right. <laughs> okay, right. or certain uh, funny themes, certain memes as well. You know, to remind that you are working, you have to be uh, determined. You have the power. We have to keep them positive and motivated every time in whatever way we can. Right. So it should be basically purpose driven and you know and a goal oriented. If right. You, if you you know always uh, you know help that client see that goal that this is your goal. This is mm. why you are here and this is what you want right. to achieve. Right. Correct. So that always helps. Right. Okay. So what are those common traits one needs to possess in this field in terms of like a complete and like the patience is uh I think is one of the important criteria or the you know that trait apart from that right. is there anything else which needs to be there you know in due this hmm. okay so uh because this is this I I think this video is going to help the students so I'll go with the studies part. Yes, it is not that you don't have to study any science subjects. It is not that you just have to go and have fun. Okay, carbohydrate protein. So, we have eleventh and twelfth. Me, put me on. It is not that. Okay, you have to study in depth of a biochemistry. You have to study in depth of microbiology. You have certain uh, nutrition based subjects like food quality control, community nutrition, therapeutic nutrition, clinical nutrition, and a variety of subjects. Okay, so uh, 
be it masters, be it graduation, we have certain subjects that are related to both art as well as science. Yes, now it is more being focused towards science and that is why, uh, you know, uh, the 12th pass science students are basically, you know, being included in the course. But still, yes, there are certain institutions and universities that are enrolling the art student as well based on the interviews that they are giving the basics uh, knowledge of mm -hmm. this field okay. that they are having. Uh, but yes, so, uh, uh, you know, uh, the studies or the curriculum is vast, very vast. You have to go and work out in the field as well. So there is field work because there is community nutrition and you have to uh, uh, go and work out there as well. So if I talk about community nutrition, what comes to in mind is working with the NGOs. So if anybody you know is eager to work with the NGOs, they are also having nutritionists and dietitians as well because they are working on the diet of the people or the children or whatever, whoever the NGO is related to. So uh, this is what I would like to say, having a, a mindset to work in the medical field or or in, you know, IT, even IT industries they have done nowadays. But you have to go through that five-year uh, study program, which is going to include all of this uh, studies and curriculum. So you have to be prepared with the practical part, with the theory part, mm -hmm. with the visitings, with the uh, cooking for a patient part. These basic things are, are need to be there. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know, so what's your uh, top strategy for uh, success? <laughs> top strategy? Um, I think, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just go with the flow, maybe um, trying to keep uh, a positive mindset, a positive surrounding everywhere, you know, um, trying to learn new things. You know, because in the field of nutrition, also certain new things are coming um, every now and then. You get to know, uh, read some research, right? Something new has happened. Some some new product has come. Some new things are happening. So uh, be open to new things. Uh, staying positive. Uh, just keep on uh, your, your goals in mind. Just be focused, and I think that is going to help you reach to that stage of happiness. <laughs> yes, it's important to have that feeling of content. You know, and you just right. satisfied and happy at the end of the day when your client right. is happy, when you see the right. results coming in, right? Yes. So, what do you think the future of uh, you know nutritionist and dietitian looks like? Um, okay, so if you would have asked this question a few years back, I would not have been very sure because you know earlier uh, we we didn't see the nutritionists or dietitians get that stability. But when you are visiting a hospital nowadays, you, you can see uh, a dietitian uh, has that uh, equally important role when it comes to, you know, helping the patient to recover quickly, yeah. right? Uh, we are uh, not saying that we are, uh, uh, you know, uh, doing it individually. Mm -hmm. It's not that somebody does that something fantastic individually. Everybody is a team. Right. We are a part of that team. And um, along with uh, other people, we are uh, helping. Also, uh, people are very much aware nowadays about their health, just like the earlier times, which may a time aya hai wherein we have, you know, uh, gained a lot of weight and thinking. Mm -hmm. Kya baat hai? Koi baat nahi, koi gal nahi, ho so we know that, yes, uh, if we are working on our health, our body, we are going to stay happy and, uh, you know, make a healthy and happy environment for the upcoming generations as well. So for that guidance, I think, yes, nutritionists and dietitians, they play an important role. Mm -hmm. As far as, yes, again, I would focus as far as they are, you know, educated properly qualified um, they can um, they are doing a major uh, you know difference they're making a major difference I, I i know my colleagues you know uh, I, have, I have colleagues and friends working in different industries and i you know at times we sit together and we or maybe if we are just you know talking on phone we get to know chamne is client ko ya is patient ko kaun sa diet kaun sa supplement de sakte hai nahi de sakte hai I also get to learn so many new things. And then I see, okay, what heights we all have achieved 
that we are, you know, uh, working uh, on this term that, yes, people, uh, you know, uh, abhi, my husband is not well, he got uh, fractured, he, he went with an accident. So, you know, we are uh, now focusing on his diet. And then I see, see how important the diet is. You have to yeah. take care of your calcium intake, of your protein intake. So, right. yeah, it, it is a very common, but yes, still, it is very, very important. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I think nowadays, uh, nutrition as a career is literally booming. You know, people are, you know, taking... So nowadays, uh, you know, nutrition as a career is, uh, is is booming. You know, people are aware and, you know, they want to make that change and, you know, lead that um, healthy uh, life, right? So with this, my last um, last question to you for this interview is so what that one piece of advice which you would like to give to the you know budding students and uh, young professionals who want to choose nutrition as their career option okay so uh, see if you have uh, got that click in your mind that you would want to work in this field i think that click is uh, enough to uh, boost you Rest, I am here. I am, uh, you know, uh, giving you that motivation. Come up with your ideas. Um, come up with your feeling to help people out, uh, recover from uh, certain diseases, to help people out, uh, you know, lose weight, gain weight, to help people out be a part of, you know, the healthy society. We have uh, various options of uh, making uh, certain undernourished children uh, more nourished, right? We have certain government schemes as well. So you have, you know, a vast area wherein you can put on your ideas and your thoughts. So um, uh, if you have, um, again, if you have got that feeling, try to read, try to, uh, you know, read certain books, certain PDFs, certain write-ups, uh, and you are going to get more knowledge out of it. This certainly, um, as Ankita has just said, a booming uh, field. We have various industries. So uh, all the very best. Go for it. And uh, this is going to be um, a great future for you. Yes, thank you so much. I think uh, it's first important to have that clarity in the mindset. So first have the clarity and Correct. upgrade yourself on a on a day to day daily basis. And Correct. ultimately, Correct. you know, I think nothing can stop you from making a difference in you know other people's life. Certainly, certainly. Yes. Certainly. So with this, thank you so much, Apurva for you know having her and you know for this lovely interaction and taking out your uh, valuable time i just hope and i believe that you know many of our young professionals and students would have gained a lot of insights from you know all the tips and things which you have shared i, I really hope so too thanks a lot thanks to you uh, even i love the interaction thanks a lot thank you so much apurva once again signing off ankita vasudev mm -hmm.